Hi guys, just another video today. So I just want to wrap up for E3 uh, 2013. Uh, they showed a lot of great stuff this year. Um, a lot of great stuff this year. So um, obviously they finally reviewed the PS4 a couple of days ago. So everybody should know about that. And they showed um, more of the Xbox One crap. Uh, I think it's a piece of shit. <laughs> and uh, more other stuff and mainly they showed uh, you know the games you know for the PS4 and Xbox One uh, first of all let's talk about the fighting games uh, first of all I want to talk about Killer Instinct um, game looks good damn good um, I never played old I played a little bit in the past but I never got into it so when they show this reboot I'm like oh shit and I was talking about my friends about it like oh damn I can't wait to play this game. What are you on about? Because I'm gonna get it. I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so, obviously, um, I'm not gonna get an Xbox One. I'm gonna, obviously, I'm gonna sell it, piece of shit. But I'm not gonna go all of my way out just to get it. And I heard once you buy the physical copy or digital download, um, you could start with. with with one player, one character of the game, and yeah, and that other rest, you know, the extra stages and stuff, you have to pay for it. It's stupid, I know. If you if you fast, by now the characters, it's just a bit stupid and such a fault. So I'm kind of disappointed with that. Um, so yeah, so I do want to get the game, but it's not worth it. Second fine game is Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Bros, yeah, Super Smash Bros. Bros. Um, the game looks really good, and uh, also they announced uh, Mega Man, the Villager from. Uh, I keep forgetting that game, and the Wii Fruit Trainer. Uh, I'm really happy I saw that. Um, the characters in it, you know, the returning characters, Mario and Donkey Kong, and such forth. Um, looks great and it's exclusively for Ryu only and it's coming up for the 3DS and uh, looks really cool um, well, I think a bit off is the Wii U the Wii Fit the Wii uh, Wii Fit Trainer I really don't like that character she, she, she shouldn't be there what the hell they, they, they put in I don't understand that so and uh yeah eh, that's that's kind of unnecessary and boring and stupid but anyway it's nintendo's game so you know also i'm gonna get the game so yeah okay well let's move away from fighting games um let's go to uh rpg games so first thing i'll talk about kingdom hearts 3. obviously the trailer was a teaser but when i first saw the trailer I'm like wow finally and uh, I got a bit, bit, a bit emotional. I don't know why because I love the game so much. I would say I lost track with it. And the last Kingdom Hearts game I played was Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I did, did really enjoy that game, unfortunately, um, because it was a you know part of the side series. But I didn't really enjoy it and you know, what was going on in it. So it was a bit confusing. So you know, the, I know. I played the other games, but the other series, I just lost track with it, you know. But I played with my friend's console and the, you know, the, P the PSP and the PS Vita. Not the PS3, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so I know, I know, so. So yeah. And the second RPG game is Final Fantasy XV. Saw the trailer, such forth, and looked really good. It was, it was going to be called Final Fantasy vs. 13, but they rebranded to 15. And uh, another thing now, uh, Square Enix um, has abandoned the RPG genre uh, due to they want to change the the whole style of how to play their games now. So you know, the first game came out 86, and uh, and now they want to change it. It's it's going to be like a be you know. Adventure game now, so it's not going to be considered 
an RPG game. Um, oh shit, that's how they started it. You know, I love um, playing uh, RPG games by Square Enix, but le lately they've been letting us all down. Final Fantasy fans, especially for me, you know, I've been friends with them for like nine, ten years now. So, and end of the day, it's like. You know they don't really care what the fans what they want, and they keep milking Final Fantasy 13, you know, and the new ones coming out, you know, Lightning Returns next year. And I was very disappointed with Final Fantasy 13 too. First one wasn't that great, Final Fantasy 13, but I did give it a chance. But you know, I did love 12. Uh, the others, I didn't pay much of it, but uh, obviously I got the gist of it. You know, that's why I fell in love with Final Fantasy XII and, you know, Final Fantasy thirteen and 2 and the new ones coming out like in returns and Final Fantasy XV that's coming next year. I'm not too fast with the online edition, so I'm not too fast with that, so screw that. So, <laughs> but my friends played it, they love Final Fantasy, they've been with it since, you know, for 27 years. They love it, you know, but, uh, obviously... They're crazy about it, so yeah, it, it's a long story, but uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, let's go, to, let's move away from RPG now. Now we're gonna go to action adventure. Um, I want to talk about um, Dead Rising 3. I know it's this only for for Xbox One exclusively. Um, I saw the trailer, uh, it plays a bit different, um, it plays like a third person game. It's like Resident Evil 6. Um, obviously it's, it looks a little bit better than Dead Rising 2 and, and Part 1. And uh, I gotta admit, and the new character in it, I'm a bit off. And the new character's name is Nick, right? But, uh, you know, it's only for Xbox One exclusive. It does look damn good. Um, it's a shame I won't be buying the Xbox One. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm a bit confused what I'm saying. Um, obviously, I'm gonna buy it for my warehouse and sell it there, but I'm not gonna have it in my in my house, in it. But uh, my friend's gonna have it in his house and such forth, and yeah. Um, but yeah, though, I'm not gonna go out my way just to play, play that game, but it does look good. Uh, placed it more differently and such and forth, so yeah, but I won't be getting there because second one's a letdown. First one, I loved the first one, I played the Wii version, um, but the third one does look cool. But I have to get an Xbox One just to play that game. Uh, obviously, I'm a huge uh, Dead Rising fan, but when I played the second one, I didn't really enjoy it. Obviously, I clocked it, such and forth, but I used to have the game. I got rid of it, but the third one's coming out exclusively for the Xbox One. That really pissed me off, and it's been it's been released by Capcom, obviously. So, so yeah. Next game, I want to talk about Bayonet 2, exclusively for the Wii U. Um, the game is coming out uh, next year. Fortunately, there was a teaser trailer and such for, but I saw this other trailer for the E3, and it looks damn good. It looks better than Part One, and she's cut her hair. So that's really cool, and our friend's got a long hair, Janine, Jin, Jen, or something, and uh, it looks damn good. Um, it's a bit shame it's only exclusive for the Wii U. Um, I think Sega made an exclusive deal with Nintendo so it can get released specifically for, for the Wii U system. So it looks interesting. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna get that, and uh, yeah. That's all I can say about that game. Okay, next game I want to talk about um, X. X is a new game. It's like Transformers and RPG game. If you've seen the trailer, just type in X. It's exclusive for the Wii U, and uh, it's a maybe now. It's a maybe. I might not get this game. Also, I'm going to sell it next year when it comes out for the Wii U. Uh, but. Uh, I might be interested in getting it, but uh, it does look cool, it does like ni looks nice, but I don't know if it's going to, you know, promise if it's going to be a good game, so I don't know yet. It's a maybe, so, 
So yeah, I don't know yet, but that's all I can say now. And uh, what else I want to say? Okay, so this year's games, obviously, we have got Deadpool that's coming end this month over here in Europe. So I can't wait to play that game. And then we got um, Castlevania 2. I can't wait for that game. Or Shadows. Then we got Project Zone. I can't wait to, to, to get that game. Really, pure all those all other games. Uh, King Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. I already pure that for my warehouse. I'm gonna get that soon. And I got um, Batman Arkham Origins. When I saw the trailer, I was blown away when I first saw the cheer trailer. Uh, so the E3 one, I was just crazy about it. I already appealed for my warehouse when I first saw the trailer. I saw it months ago. And uh, it's just crazy. It's, it just looks amazing. And then we got Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. Um, that's coming next year, unfortunately. It's coming February the 14th, 2014. Um, so yeah, in Europe. And uh, what else is game? What else? That's coming. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X 2 uh, HD Remastered that's coming exclusively for the PS3 uh, that's coming out as well so I've already pre-ordered it for my warehouse so, uh, so I might get that game. I never play that game properly I, I, I always want to play that game but I never got the chance to but now it's coming out it says it's coming out 20th of September so also, I'm gonna get a copy, obviously. <laughs> but, uh. But, yeah. And, uh, obviously, we've got Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 50 coming up for the PS4. And Dead Rising 3 and Killing Instinct next year. Well, no, it's coming end this year. I mean, uh, Xbox One is coming November the 31st. So, if you're ready, pre order, guys, pre order your Xbox One. PS4 is coming out, um. Uh, end of December, so uh, I already pre order some. It's like Summer Store, and uh, then we got Super Smash Brothers Ball for the Wii U and 3DS. That's coming next year, and yeah, that's 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 all I can say now. Um, oh, so yeah, so it's it's been okay this year for the E3. It was good, but unfortunately, I want to talk about Catcom. Why the fuck did they didn't announce the new fighting game? I thought they're gonna announce Street Fighter Five, or now Versatile. They said, "Oh, it's just gonna be a huge surprise." Then they keep trolling with us with the DL, DL, downloadable content, uh, downloadable game uh, in the DuckTales Remastered and Dungeons Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons Remastered, and then they, they showed Dead Rising Three. Is that a big surprise, Capcom? What the fuck, man? Are you? I thought you were gonna show a new fighting game to us this year. You are fucking stupid, Capcom. You, you know you should be called Cat Crapcom. You know, not Capcom, Crapcom. I've been a huge loyal customer to you and a fan to you, and this is how you treat us. You fucking piece of shits. I'm just fed up with Capcom, guys. You know, they keep cancelling all the best games like, you know, Capcom fighting, um, Capcom something, something, I can't remember. They cancelled that. Then they cancelled all the, the the last is Mega Man game and they just keep throwing on channel. What the fuck, man? Seriously, that's just, that's fucking out of order, man. Seriously, that's, that's fucked up. So I was really disappointed with Capcom. I thought they were going to announce another fighting game they only announced two fighting games this year I was expecting more so I was kind of disappointed with that okay okay guys I'm gonna wrap it up now um, E3 was good this year but I expect a bit more from Capcom and other developers other companies but you know we only got Kid Instinct and Super Smash Bros so that's that's all we got on the fighting genre okay guys I'm out now peace Thanks for watching. What did you like on E3 this year? Uh, were you expecting more fighting games this year, just like me? Or did you expect it, you got enough this year? Or will 2014 will be good? Um, June 2014. Wait till next year. Um, I might go next year if I can. 
but uh, we'll see um, if I can dish up some money. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, how much is pretty this time? Okay, let's wrap this out. Uh, it's been okay year for the E3, and now we've got Comic Con. So, there you go. So, we can talk about that. Talk about figures, statues, games, and other stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I want to come. Are you free? I might come to 2014. I might, I might. You we get some money? Or maybe go to 2015 or 16 if I'm still alive. Okay, peace. I'm out of here, bitches. Woo!